holes too. Leave that right there. Time to go over to the car.
All right, next the harmonic balancer is going to go back on. Cleaned off the threads. Just notice that I put a nice big dent in my oil filter. Nice. It deserved it. Car's in gear and the emergency brakes on. I should keep the crank from turning. And I saw that it was on there right at TDC, so now if it moves, it doesn't really matter. One more for good measure. Go. All right, it's on. Better or worse. All right, next will be the balancer pulley. All right, let's get the uh, power steering pump back where it belongs. All right, I got the, uh, the stock pulley on, and I'll show you why in a second. This is a smaller pulley here, and I was about out of adjustment on the uh, other one. There's two ways you can put this pulley on. Uh, or wrap the belt and it amounts to the same thing if you go over the alternator and the uh, alternator like this then by the time it's tight it's going to be up against that turbo um, so you can wrap it another way which it doesn't really matter to the to the car whatsoever as long as the pumps being driven opposite the balancer you can wrap it around this way and that shortens it or actually it's a longer path that way and that makes for a better tightness now with the aluminum pulley that i had on there which was basically wore out anyways and it was getting a groove in it um i wasn't really going to have room for the uh i'm sorry my i know my arms in the way i wasn't going to have room for these water lines and it was going to get a be a problem so kind of killing two birds with one stone here um, this is actually smaller than the aluminum one was and so that's going to overdrive the water pump a little more That's kind of opposite of what I said before it's a higher volume water pump or so it says and so I'm actually going to be pushing quite a bit more water now um, and uh, so <laughs> Not a bad problem to have really uh, We'll see what happens with the temps. I think it'll be just fine, but I'm really kind of stuck because if I put the uh, aluminum pulley back on there I would have to get a new belt 
And uh, if you watched my rant on trying to size belts, then uh, you know I don't want to go that route. So I'm going to, that, that's actually looking pretty good. I'm going to see what that's going to take to get those uh, water nipples in. Um, I just want to kind of put this somewhat out of the way for now. Right, it's been a couple days. I had some other stuff going on. Uh, before I get too much further in here, I'm going to go ahead and get those things uh, final installed. Oops, wrong hand. This is going to overdrive that water pump even more, which is, you know what? It's okay. I don't spend a lot of time at high RPM. And uh, as long as the thermostat is doing its job, shouldn't have a problem with flowing too much water, despite what I said earlier about that not always being the best thing. All right, let's see if I can get this thing back on the way I did a minute ago. Come on, you gotta get out of there. All right, right there. Uh, I like that, okay. No, you can't do laundry. Yes, of course, honey. Come on out. All right, so it's not touching there anymore. It looks like I can still turn that jam nut because that was my concern. Good. All right, fantastic. Let me run these two in and button her up, and I think we'll be in good shape. All right, time to make a thermostat gasket. <laughs> Pretty good. There we go. Yep. One thermostat gasket. There you go. All right, here we go. And I'm already seeing something that I'm not liking. Namely, that support rod for the um, uh, alternator is going to be super close. I may have to remove one of those washers just to get it to uh, to fit. I'm trying not to drop the bolt when I do this. There's not a lot of room to get that bolt in there once the thermostat's in place. If I can just get a couple of threads on it. This one's not so bad, but there we go. 
that one I can get a socket on. All right, so off camera, I just checked, and yeah, it's it's going to work just fine. I just repositioned this to the outside, and it uh, gave plenty of room for the uh, hose there and plenty of room for the thermos. It's basically the same way I had it in the last one. There's uh, less interference with the side of the alternator on this one. I don't have to grind anything back. I don't know if you remember that or not. Um, it fits fine. It's on a little bit of an angle. Certainly nothing that the rod ends can't handle. But again, when you tighten it up, it's kind of pushing at an angle. I, it's okay. Um, this just fits better, and I think it'll be just fine. So the belt's nice and tight. There's some adjustment room now. Um, and uh, really, everything is tightened down. i got to do the uh, upper radiator hoses. And oh, by the way, i got to fix the radiator. Uh, I did buy some material to make the straps with, so that'll probably be the uh, next project because I can't move forward until I get the uh, new radiator installed. So stand by for that.